Now into my hole here, folks. Everything looks pretty much the same. Doesn't look like anything caved in. But the first thing I see... Bam! Rain must have washed the dirt off it. Look at that. Cat's eye. Yellow and orange and white. I don't know what number that makes. I'll put it in the video description. Right on. That's actually a nice looking marble. Catch us on the next one. See that thing? Look at that. It looks like one of those huge horn cruets from or horn bottles. Oh, it is a cruet. Look at that. Awesome. It is a horn. H O R N E. Can't tell if there's a date on it or not. 1932. Check it out. Cool beans. I found one of these last year, but it was all cracked up. Cool. I like that. Alright. Let's see what other treasures we can dig out of this place. Okay, I'm only going to have one chance at this. I already had a little bit of a look and I think it's like a, I don't know. Yeah, it's have a look. It's a weird shape. Aha! Uh -huh. Is that thing? Looks like it just says uh, B and Company Limited. Looks like it's a greenish color. That's a cool looking bottle. Jar. Looks like the seam comes right up to this bottom of this top lip here. Might have been blown. All right. Cool find. I think I'm down in the right uh, layer there now. I'll shut these off for now and uh, see you all later. The bank just caved in a little bit and this come down in with it. Embossed up here around the shoulder. It says Emond, E M O N D. Focus there. Laboratories, Ottawa, Canada. Looks like a big sauce bottle, but it's all textured. It's a nice looking bottle. What's that? Something embossed on the back side of it there. Looks like a beaver or something. Some sort of animal. Looks like a beaver. Maybe it's beaver juice. Anyways, I'll keep it and uh, clean it up and find out uh, what it's all about. Check it out, folks. I just got this one out. Way down in under there. This has been caving in on me. That rock's right there above me. And I was thinking about caving it in and quitting for the day. But I seen this and got poking around at the bottom of it. All I could see was the bottom. And look at that. That's the first one I found. Excelsior bottling 
establishment. Old English ginger beer. Cal's and St. Stephen. And it's even got the cork still in it. Awesome. That just <laughs> made my day. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I think this, I might call it a day and get out of here. End on a good note. Awesome. All right. I'll catch you later on a cleanup. Hey, everyone. I'm back with the cleanup here. We'll go over uh, some of this stuff. We'll start with this here. On the bottom is embossed Bagley and Company, or Bean Company Limited, rather, and that stands for Bagley and Company Limited. And they were around from 1898 to the 1920, so that's an oldie. You can see some of the imperfections in the gloss there. Cool beans. This here plate. Russell Square, London. On the back it says uh, hotel wear. So I'm assuming it was in the hotel at one time. I couldn't find anything else out about it. Marble number 11. Provided that I uh, get these videos posted in the correct order. This would be number 11. Can't get focused on it. Go figure. Anyways, we're in the marble jar. This here, that was the best find of the dig. Ginger beer bottle, Callus and St. Stephen. That's dated 1890. Cleaned up pretty good, got a little bit of staining on it, but overall I'm quite happy with that. Got uh, Eamon Laboratories, nice embossed bottle, wish it was colored. Anyways, all I could find out about that is that it's possibly a hair tonic from the 1930s. Possibly, don't know for sure. And we got this Horn Cruet, and that is from the 30s, and it's dated on the bottom, 1932. Right there. Yep. Bakelite billiard ball. Check it out. That's the inside of it. Broke right in two on me. Okay. House of Frazier powder compact. You can make out the writing on the top of it. And they were around from 1849 right up to the present. So anywhere in there. That's everything. Well, that's everything we're going over. So thanks for watching. Good luck, happy hunting. And we'll catch you on the next one.